Hey, good afternoon. How are all of my beautiful Cancer Soul family members doing today? Hope you're all doing great. Having a beautiful day. Welcome to your tarot reading. Today I thought I would do a tarot reading for the zodiac sign of Cancer. And this will be a tarot reading for mid to late September, right? So right now taking us through the end of the month, Cancer. So we just want to see what the energies look like ahead of you at this time so that we can better prepare you to step into this particular time so that you can maximize your experience in life so that you'll be better equipped on knowing how that you how you can go about creating more joy and happiness more love and abundance in your life my name is Morty uh, welcome to this channel if this is your first time being here I also want to welcome back our soul family members that are already subscribers uh, great to have you all here um, I'm very excited to be sharing this reading with you guys cancer um, today is Monday, September the 16th. The time is 5.39 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Uh, and I just want to mention, you know, most of us are aware of what our, our sun sign zodiac is. You know, for example, mine is Aquarius. But it's also important if you don't know them already to learn what your moon arising zodiac signs are as well. And I mention this because so my sun sign is Aquarius, my moon and rising are both in Taurus. So I find that I resonate with the Aquarius readings. But because I know, I understand my moon and rising signs, I'll listen to the Taurus readings. And because I have so much earth and Taurus in me, I find that many times those readings resonate stronger with me. So I share that with you so that if you're following tarot, um, you know, wh whichever tarot readers you're following, um, it, it, it doesn't matter, but be mindful as you're looking at those zodiac readings, um, always look at your sun sign reading, but check out your moon and rising as well, because I think you may find that at certain times those energies will resonate stronger with you. Um, and if you're looking for guidance and direction, I think you'll find that very helpful. So that's why I wanted to share that with you. Cancer's beautiful zodiac sign, whether your your sun is your sun sign is Cancer, your moon or rising, or you're just checking up on a Cancer or you may just be intuitively guided to be here right, to have found this channel and this station. Uh, either way, I'm very happy to have you here. Cancers are very intuitive, sensitive, creative, and spontaneous. Uh, we can be, I mean, Cancer is a water sign, right? So a lot of times Cancer is very uh, moved by emotions and feelings. Um, located in the, you're found in the fourth house. The fourth house is about home and family. Uh, where we live, our attachments, roots, structure, history, our domestic life, and our emotional security. Uh, all those components found in the fourth house. Uh, Cancer, you are ruled by the moon. Um, which, I was thinking about that a little bit beforehand, uh, prior to turning on the, on the camera. And, you know, it makes me wonder, I can't help but suspect that, uh, you know, the zodiac sign of Cancer, you guys... You guys may very well feel some real strong and powerful effects from, you know, full moons and lunar eclipses and such. Um, I apologize if I'm stating the obvious. Uh, intuitively, I kind of think I am, but yeah, it was a thought that came to mind. So if it came to mind, I would like to mention it. So I mention it for some reason. Okay, Cancer. So keep in mind, this reading will not be for every Cancer, but it will be for many of you. You just have to stick around and see if the energies that I'm connecting with here in today's reading, if they resonate with you, if you're finding part of your story, your truth. Um, some of you may find that it's your exact story. Um, that happens. I, I hear about that all the time. Um, it's not a personal reading. It's a general reading for the collective. I do provide personal tarot readings. In fact, I would love to provide one to you if you're interested. Um, just send me an email. It's uh, tarotloveandabundance at gmail. You'll find it in the description below. Um, yeah, love to provide you a personal tarot reading. Uh, personal tarot readings get much more interesting because they're personal. It pertains to you specifically, right? So um, it can be a lot more detailed and specific, obviously. And I just want to thank all of you for making all of this possible for giving me the opportunity to be able to provide these recordings and have this channel um, I appreciate all the love and the support that so many of you provide to me uh, the beautiful comments and the beautiful contributions uh, I couldn't do it without you guys so thank you 
Okay, so Cancer, the background music that we're playing is opening your heart chakra, right? The love frequency, just some good soothing vibes. We're gonna take just a moment real quick, tap the crystal healing bowl and give it a, a chance to sing to us, which is a perfect opportunity to remove ourselves from the outcome of the readings, right? And allow ourselves to step into a space and a place where we'll be open to receiving and hearing any messages that may be heard, meant for you to hear today, Cancer. Grab a drink. Okay, Cancer. It, that was very nice. Um, a very, I felt it was a very interesting um, song that it was singing this time. Uh, there was a lot to that first tap that I made, right? But that the second tap, you know, came through real strong, and uh, it stayed strong and it stayed steady right from the moment it was tapped. I don't know. I'm finding more and more connections and meanings, right, between how this crystal bowl is sounding, many times taking us into the tarot readings. You know, I mean, what I'm feeling is that could this, that could represent, you know, we go into, into things sometimes, right, and we, we may strike out the first time. Um, but, oh, if we're able to rise each time we fall, right, gives us the opportunity to not strike out next time. Because that second tap was very strong and steady. Okay, so Cancer, what I'm doing now is we're pulling an affirmation card for you. I want to see what which affirmation your guides feel would be best suited for you to hear, taking us into your tarot reading today. Uh, the affirmations cards that I'm using, they're called Magical Spell Cards by Lucy Cavendish. That's right here. And Cancer, the affirmation taking us into your tarot reading today is confidence. The number 32, which reduces to a 5. Uh, 5 it represents kind of being the middle and the center, right? Which many times can indicate change and such. By earth and air, water and fire, let my confidence take light, burn higher. By earth and air, water and fire, let my confidence take light, burn higher. By earth and air, water and fire, let my confidence take light, burn higher. Okay. So Cancer, I said that affirmation out loud three times intentionally because I believe there's a stronger, greater manifestation power to the number three. We want to create a strong of an affirmation for you with this affirmation of confidence and you know, taking us into your tarot reading as possible. So it makes me curious, really, really interested to get into your tarot reading here, Cancer. And with the affirmation of confidence coming out, it's a beautiful affirmation, right? I mean, it's what we all seek, what we all want. You know, we want that confidence, that peace of mind, that sometimes that inner knowing. So Cancer, I'm doing your tarot reading today with my Crystal Vision tarot set by Jennifer Galasso. I really enjoy this tarot set. I love the images. I really like the meanings of the cards. So Cancer, opening energy taking us into your tarot reading today is the Six of Swords. Uh, so the Six of Swords represents the energy of, if you look at the figure here in the card, she's been in battle, right? She's chosen to, to turn her back, to lie down her swords, and to walk the other direction. So, I don't know, this may be right why confidence, this affirmation is coming in. Some of you may be right, seeking the kind of confidence that you're looking for in order to have the faith to turn around, lie down your swords, right? Stepping into something new and different. All right, Cancer, tell me.
tell us more. Okay, coming in next, we have the Justice card. So Cancer, as each card falls, I like to hold up the card and let you know what the energy in that the card represents by itself. Um, I do that so that you guys can better familiarize yourself with the meanings of, of the tarot cards. Uh, also, it gives you the opportunity to kind of begin to kind of put together your own tarot reading, right? Because the details for all of us are all different, right? You can never hit all the details for everybody in, in a reading, right? But I'll, I'll, I'll nail them to a T for many of you. Um, but it also gives you the opportunity to begin to kind of put together maybe some of those details. Justice. So it's representing the energy of Libra. So some of you may have a Libra in your life. If so, a pretty significant relationship. Uh, she stands above the river of truth. In one hand, she, she holds her sword. In the other hand, she shows the scales of justice. Uh, so Cancer in general, this is talking about more than likely justice of some sort, you know, coming into your life. This sense of fairness and balance. We'll know more as we get more cards. Okay. All right, Cancer, coming in next. Next to the Justice card, we have the Ace of Wands. Okay, so this is a beautiful, beautiful energy here for you, Cancers. Aces represent beginnings. You know, wands can be, they can represent speed and movement, right? It's kind of that fire sign-like energy. Uh, but the creativity, right? The passion, that ex the excitement that's connected to this beginning. It's a beautiful thing, you know? So this is letting us know that this type of beginning lies ahead of you, Cancer. Right? Now it's gonna be up to us. It looks like this beginning is coming in after this Justice comes in. Okay. All right, Cancer, coming in next and showing up at the center of your tarot reading today, only appropriate, we would see your energy. The chariot card, so the card of Cancer. So showing up here at the center of your tarot reading, right? Put some significance and some importance on this energy. Right, so this is about movement and change, right? It's coming into your life, Cancer, right? It's coming in by way of the chariot. She's being pulled by the black horse and the white horse, representing this duality of yin and yang, the masculine and feminine. You know, running together in unison, right? in balance, right? In order to to bring about this change. And Cancer, you know, the Justice card, she's holding the scales of balance. And a few moments ago, I was, you know, I was feeling, you know, this could be a legal situation for some of you. Um, you know, something something you've been, you know, trying to get resolved for, for quite some time. Uh, you know, with the Six of Swords taking us you know, into the tarot reading, right? It's a willingness to in any way that I say to settle, right? That's what, um, you know, to let go of, of some of these limiting energies. Why? In order to free yourself up and move forward, uh, you know, and move forward towards this new beginning. Okay, Cancer, coming in next. We see potentially your energy again, showing up here as the King of Cups, water sign energy. So Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Sorry, it took me a moment. Uh, beautiful energy. So the King of Cups is the most loving king. You know, he's also the most balanced of the kings. Balance being symbolized here with a foot in the water and a foot on dry land. The water representing our emotions and feelings, his feminine self. The dry land representing our presence here on earth, his masculine self, right? So this king having, being balanced in both, right? Finds him very empowering, um, 
just a fantastic energy, the kind of energy that's very healing, uh, very comfortable very comforting and soothing for others to be around uh, also makes it makes him the most intuitive of the kings you know this sense of balance okay cancer coming in next to the king of cups we now have the Page of Swords. Uh, so the Page of Swords represents that air sign energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. If so, it would be a younger energy more than likely. Pages are messengers, right? news. Uh, so typically this page, you know, it's bringing in a truth of some sort. You know, if it's coming in by way of, of, an, air, of an air sign or somebody that kind of takes on that energy, um, they can kind of come across as being a forceful communicator in many ways. Uh, you know, very good with their words, uh, very, very witty, right, and, and intelligent. Now, I don't usually elaborate quite that much on that energy, right? but I, I was feeling that for some reason. Okay, Cancer, we have two energies here. One of these shot right out, right? So coming in next, and this is coming in attached to, to this justice card, right? This fairness, this balance, right? Maybe this, this judgment, this settlement, right? I'm saying settlement for some reason. Eight of Pentacles is a good energy. If you look at the figure here on the card, she's sitting at the spin wheel, right? She's focused, really devoted to, you know, striving to become the best at what it is she does, right? So, Many cases, this this symbolizes a, a work-related energy, you know, coming in attached to you know to the to the justice card. You know, of, you know maybe there's been some type of injustice, you know, within the workplace. Um, coming in attached to this Eight of Pentacles, it really makes me, you know, makes me feel that that's you know that'll be the the connection, the meeting there for many of you. Okay, coming in, attached to the Ace of Wands, right? we have another Eight. We have the Eight of Wands. So, Eight of Wands, uh, beautiful energy, right? As you look at the, the figures here on the card, you see eight unicorns, right? They're charging down this mountain. Right? So they're coming in, they're coming in quickly. Right? There's no stopping them. Right? So it represents speed and, and movement. And that's coming in attached to this Ace of Wands, right? So, this, this judgment, this settlement, this fairness, this balance, right? This takes place, you know, maybe legal for some, um, not necessarily legal for others, work-related, even relationship-related for others. Uh, you know, but the fairness and the balance coming in, seems like it takes many of you, right, into this new beginning immediately. Um, yeah, the new beginning comes in quickly. Okay. All right, Cancer coming in next and showing up attached to your energy, the Chariot card. At the center of today's of your reading, we have the Knight of Swords. So like all night energies, right? An energy you can count on showing up. Um, so we have the Page of Swords showing up here in your tarot reading. We have the Knight of Swords, right? So that air sign quality, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. I mean, this knight doesn't come in as quickly as the, the Knight of Wands, right? But he comes in with some urgencies. He's coming in on a horse with wings, right? coming in with a sword drawn. So again, there can be a little bit of urgency, right? To what is in many cases recognized as a truth that's coming in.
All right, Cancer, tell us more. Too many cards. Tell us more. background music just stopped on me so I apologize okay coming in attached to the king of cups cancer we have the three of cups three of cups is a good energy <clears throat> so it's representing this lighter energy right of uh, by itself getting getting out with friends right sharing in stories and laughter and good times uh, really encouraging getting out and socializing right getting out connecting with others seems to, to serve you very well, Cancer. Um, I mean, you guys naturally like this, right? Energetically, <clears throat> you know, Cancer's always been a zodiac sign that likes that, that collective group of getting together. You know, friends, meaningful relationships, family. Coming in attached to this King of Cups. So, I don't know, Cancer. This may actually bring out this King of Cups energy within you, right? Of getting out with, with friends. And for others, right, you may actually meet this King of Cups energy from getting out with friends. Okay, Cancer, coming in next. And attached to the Page of Swords, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So... Earth sign energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You know, like all night energies, you can count on it showing up. This is the slowest moving of the nights, right? But the most reliable. Having said the slowest moving, it's all is also, you know, the most reliable. So a bit of a catch twenty-two. Right? This night energy it brings in a lot of stability, right? Security, in many ways. It's very confident energy, right? Confident because. It's a seasoned and experienced energy in life. All right, Cancer, tell us more. Okay, beautiful. All right, Cancer, energy taking us out of your tarot reading today comes in by way of the Ten of Pentacles. So Ten of Pentacles, it's a beautiful energy. It's, it's representing this energy of, of feeling abundance in your life. And, you know, however that abundance comes in, it's gonna be different for each and every one of you. Maybe abundance of, of recognition, of, of support. Um, well, certainly confidence. Um, it may be love, relationships, success, you know, it's kind of abundance is, is all inclusive so really feeling that that abundant energy within you is the energy taking us out of your tarot reading which it's a great sign okay cancer I have your tarot reading done now I need to take a moment and look at the cards and see where they are in terms of relationship to each other I need to see and feel what it is they're trying to share by way of messages so I'm just going to keep the recording going um, I would say enjoy the soothing sounds of the background music, but they stopped on me for a moment. Um, so I'm going to come right back in just a moment, and I'll share your whole reading with you start to finish. Thanks, Cancer.
Okay, Cancer, I have it here for you. You guys have a beautiful reading. So our opening affirmation taking us into your tarot reading is confidence, right? I'm really feeling this, the energy in this affirmation strongly, especially as it, as it pertains to your tarot reading, right? Because many times it's, you know, it can be life experiences, it can be expectations we may set for ourselves, you know, of, of the way things, you know, should be or, or you know, are supposed to be. Um, when things aren't happening that way, right, many times it, it does, it can strip us of our confidence. Um, and I, I feel like that is the case for you, Cancer, right? Uh, for some, it'll be legal related, right? uh, literally a legal matter. Others, uh, work related energy, and others, it'll be relationship related. But, Cancer, energy taking us into your chair reading is the Six of, Wands, of Swords. You know, so a willingness right, to lie down her swords, turn her back, right, and walk the other direction. And for whatever reason, um, you know, I feel the energy of settling, you know, in some way, you know, uh, whether that's that's legal or whether that that's that's well, what what it represents is it's a willingness to lie down some of these limiting things, right, that have kept us hung up in the past, right of lying those down and in order to step forward into a different direction. Cancer, I feel like I feel like it serves you all very well to do that. Because showing up here next to your tarot reading, we have the Justice card, so the card of Libra. Attached to it is the Eight of Pentacles, so the energy of really getting focused, right? Striving to become the best right, of what it is you do. Justice, she shows up with a sword in one hand, right, standing above the river of truth, right, but in her other hand, she wields the scales of justice. And like the gleam on this sword is kind of popping out to me right here, Cancer. So, I feel like, yeah, this, there's, you know, there's justice, there's fairness, and there's balance. Cancer, coming into your life, um, for many of you, it it's up to us at this point, right? What is it that's required, being asked, right? A willingness to lie down the sword. So maybe things aren't just exactly as they should be, right? Um, and for whatever reason, settling, uh, compromising. That's probably a better, a better word. Cancer, I mean, I feel like when this happens, right? It immediately frees up your energy, right? Taking you into this Ace of Wands beginning, uh, which is, it's this is a beautiful beginning waiting for you, right? Moving and coming in, coming in quickly. But it, it comes in after this Justice card. Could be a ruling. Okay, Cancer, showing up here at the center of your tarot reading today, we have your energy, right? Demonstrated by the chariot card. It's about movement change, right? Coming in, it's already in motion, right? What is it that, that brings the rest of this change, right? This truth, what, what is it that allows these horses to show up to their, to their destination? It's continued balance, right? I'm feeling it's that connection to that balance to the justice card as she's holding the scales. The scales of, of balance, right? So, you know, this ruling, this balance that comes into your life, uh, it, it brings you brings you your truth, brings you to desired changes that you're wanting. Meaning I feel like you, you're happy with the, with what, what comes about by way of justice. Seems like it's very fair. All right, Cancer, tell us. Sorry. We're not shuffling quite yet. We're going through reading here. I get, I get wrapped up doing the reading, and uh, it's easy that you kind of lose track of, of right where you left off here. But Cancer showing up next here in, in your tarot reading, we have the King of Cups. So 
you know, representing that water sign energy. You know, king of Cups, the most loving king, attached to the Three of Cups. So the energy representing of getting out with friends, right? Sharing in laughter and stories and good times. You know, showing up here in your tarot reading, Cancer. Um, you know, for many, this could be connected, right, to this, to this justice, this fairness, this balance coming into your life. Um, yeah, it's going to free you up in many ways, right? Free you up maybe where you feel like getting out and socializing, right? Maybe even getting out and celebrating. Um, maybe, maybe even making amends, right, with whatever this other side of the, the injustice is. Okay, Cancer. Coming in next, we have the Page of Swords. So, the bringer of truth, right? The deliverer, the messenger of truth. Cancer. So, it's connected to this justice card, this fairness, this balance, right? And oh, I was feeling this strong, really strong, prior to, to even beginning your tarot reading, Cancer, and, uh, and I almost failed to mention it. Um, <clears throat> but what I was feeling is is the energy of, of for whatever reason we don't always we don't always hear what we want to hear but we hear what we need to hear and I was just feeling that very strongly randomly before you stepping into your tarot reading here um, I feel like that's that's what's coming in here on this page of swords you know this this truth that's coming in it's coming in attached to the Knight of Pentacles, right? So, representing this energy of stability, of, of security, right? And connecting confidence with this too. This may have been a, you know, very long and slow process and journey for some of you. But Cancer, your outcome looks fantastic, right? The Ten of Pentacles, letting you know, <clears throat> you know, that when this justice, this fairness, this balance comes in, you step into this end of this new beginning and you're able to get your own individual balance back um, it really frees up your energy in so many ways king of cups kind of energy right allowing you to connect yourself with this energy of feeling so abundant in your life okay cancer you guys had a great tarot reading thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to be able to share it with all of you okay cancer the road ahead looks great for you uh, wishing you all the very best. Thank you so much. Have a great night.